Hey you guys, this is Bethany. I'm so glad you're here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, you can do so below. I would really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be answering some viewer questions that were sent in to my email, but also posted here on my channel. As pastel artists, we always have to consider how we're going to keep our studios free from dust that collects when we paint our pieces. Anthony sent in a great question. What do you use to catch dust under your easel? Anthony, I use a piece of foam core under my paintings. I usually use a scrap piece that I have cut off of a larger piece and I score not making sure not to cut all the way through. I, I use a short blade. I score it with a metal ruler and then I simply snap it to form an L shape that I can rest my painting upon. One of the things I like most about this simple and easy studio hack is that I can fold it and I can put it in my bag for my plein air excursions or on my shelf. The next question was sent from Emily and she asked me if I break my pastels and the answer is always yes. Pastels act differently according to how much binder is put in them. This is a medium pastel. It's very hard. It has a lot of binder. This is a soft pastel with very little binder. And knowing the amount that is in each pastel will help you when you go to break them to put them with your the rest of your colors. If the pastel I am going to break has a label, I use a utility knife and directly score through the label gently and then break the pastel with the label intact. This allows me to save one half for reorder and the other half to put with my other colors. Now I'm picking up a very soft pastel. It is important when you are scoring the pastel to use a very light touch because this can easily crumble if you're not very careful. I like to score this brand on two different sides and very, very carefully, using gentle pressure, break it apart. Now there are some times when I am not intending to break a pastel and they actually fall on my hardwood floor, but I am a keeper and I am for sure going to keep all those little bits because you never know when you're going to need a color. Here is an, just another example of um, me not scoring my pastel. That is a very hard pastel I'm using and you can see when it's not scored, it doesn't always break where you want it to. So the scoring really helps. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. Please send in your questions or comment below and I'd love to answer your question also. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys later.